Welcome back. We are about to set sail um, <laughs> um, aboard this ship. Uh, we are going to be looking for shipwrecks today. Um, if you haven't seen the first video, I highly recommend going and watching it. Uh, there is a part one. This is part two of Dredge. Probably my new favorite indie game. Uh, I wish I had started playing this one sooner. Absolutely enjoyed that. I got so <laughs> engrossed in the game when um, when I was recording the last video that I kept forgetting that I was recording, and that's that says something. Um, so yeah, the I I, uh, I really enjoyed it so far. It's a it's very simple. We. Um, we're in a we're in a little sh little boat like in the beginning a wreck happens and then we are discovered by the mayor of this little fishing town and they give us another boat and we had to pay off a debt we did that but we discover that the place is kind of kind of mysterious there's some secrets to uncover and um a lot to discover so today we're going to draw it dive back into that with part two um quick reminder if you uh if you enjoy my videos please 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 uh subscribe to my channel and uh you know give the video a like leave me a comment and let me know if you enjoyed it um and did you play this game let me know what uh what games you're playing right now that you're really enjoying i would love to hear about them and uh maybe check them out myself uh, so, I hope all of you guys are doing well, and I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get into the game. All right, so we are back at Greater Marrow. So, um, when we last left off, we had found a really weird-looking fish, and um, it turned out to have something inside of it. And so we met this fellow that wanted us to take it to, like, to them. Um... And so we ended up just like discovering a new part of the map. So we had we had taken a package over to Little Marrow, which is kind of the fishing, another like village across the bay. I guess you could call this a bay. The Galapago. I don't know what archipelago. I don't know what this is. But anyway, uh, so this is like another little town. But uh, we had to go outside of this little ring of island things here and go to Blackstone Isle. So here we have um, a mysterious man buys the relic from us and they give us the ability to dredge. And they tell us, hey, there's shipwrecks to explore. If you bring me more artifacts that are located in these shipwrecks, I will upgrade your boat. Uh, I, I, can, I can do amazing upgrades to it beyond your wildest dreams. It'll be amazing. Um, so we're like, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll, try, to, we'll try to do that. So that's where we're really basically at uh, currently um, with the island, um, with the island, with the game. Um, we've got a couple of just little like, I guess, side quests that we can do. So that's, uh, that's basically caught up in a nutshell. Um, So yeah, uh, I guess I should say, this is a series that we're doing. There is a part one. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Um, if you want to just uh, quickly catch up on that weird fish action, I did make a short of it so you can see it. It's icky. Um, and then if you are enjoying the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. There are a lot of people that watch, but I'll forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'm happy that I'm showing up in your feed time and time again, but hitting the subscribe button liking a video and giving me a comment, uh, letting me know what you like about the channel, um, even letting me know what games you're playing. That stuff really helps me out. Um, but well, yeah, let's, uh, let's get in. Let's get into this. So I think what we can do right now is just head back out. 
early in the morning. Just maybe do some fishing along the way here. I apologize in the last video I made my I think I made like I was my model like too big and I had um <laughs> it's like covering up the fishing mechanic a lot right here. Maybe we'll go back and like empty these out and just get some like money really quick. Okay, we'll get this spot too. So if you hit on the little green spots how you catch them. Uh, oh, here, let's get this little spot over here. This one looks weird, right? Oh, this one has something special. Ooh. Numerous glowing shapes flicker and squirm behind distant uh, distended rib cage. The rest the the rest of the fish is withered and drained. Ooh, these fish are so gross. <laughs> okay. Uh can we fish her again? I don't, I don't think so. No, this place is tucked. So we can absolutely take this over here. Um, oh no, I think it needs to be, it need, I think they need to go to the fishmonger first if we find weird fish. And then he will take the relic out of it. I was driving my boat like straight into like the side of the dock and that didn't really work so well. <laughs> oh no, did that just sell it and not take the stuff out? A bummer. I mean, I don't know if it actually had a relic in it. Okay. Crap. There's no way to undo that either. Oh, that sucks. Okay, lesson learned. Whoa, that that is really, really crappy. Well, we probably should not have sold that fish.
Yeah, so we found this like cyclopene flounder, but it was like a weird one. Oh, I guess it's just classified as an exotic fish. Numerous glowing shapes flicker and square. Yeah, okay. Okay. I guess it's okay that we sold it then. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think it's fine. All right, it's kind of late. Um, let's see if we can get any upgrades here. Oh, no, I think we are working on... I think there's something that we have to do and then we need to get materials for the dry dock. Let's go out and do that. See if we can get some materials before it gets too, too dark. Oh, there's like, is there more here? are the shrieking eels. All right, a slimy creature tainted with the silt and muck of the seabed. Ew, it's a barbed eel. These are creepy, they're so creepy. A spine broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. <laughs> okay, let's have another boat. Oh, it's so like spooky spooky out here. Let's turn around. Go back. Back over here. <laughs> There's like a bright light up here in the distance. What is that? We're supposed to go back there. We'll go, we'll definitely like head over there tomorrow. All right, let's rest until the morning. here. We can't get that one yet. What is this one? Is this possible wreckage? Can't tell. Let's explore it. Uh, start charging. Ooh. Oh, we're not doing good at this. Okay. <laughs> You don't want to hit the black parts. Uh, we found a worn ring. Okay. Cool. reading the engine operation book. What is this? This looks like materials. Okay, ready again. Nice. 
this. Okay, I feel like I'm trying to concentrate so much. <laughs> okay, good, good. Those materials will help us improve the boat. I don't know what all this is. Another eel. Have any room for anything else? Unless I put, I can put this over here. Okay. Oh my gosh! It got dark all of a sudden. Oh shoot! Ooh. Oh my gosh! Let's go over here. Oh, this is so creepy. This is the latest we've been out here and we're out like beyond the the safety of the little cove of our home island. <laughs> spooky, spooky, spooky. This guy has a little bit of light here. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Oh, we can sleep here too. That's really good. Let's go up here. Hello. Uh, take a look at these trinkets. Do not bother me with common clutter. I hear that trader in Little Marrow deals with such trivialities. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no, that's cool. Uh, I guess I'll go to sleep. <laughs> know if it's little trinkets. I mean... <laughs> what about Lord of the Rings? What if they had thought that ring was trash? Like, what would have happened? I had to check. Alright, so this is Little Marrow. Let's, uh, let's go up to the trader and see what he makes of this. Oh, $15 for this ring. Alright, thanks, sir. Um, bolts of cloth. I think we need this, so we're not trading that. What's the painter? Ah, the fisherman. I had thought you might stop by. Welcome to my humble studio. If you're wanting to experiment with some decorations, yes, I'm the person to talk to. Oh, what sort of decorations? I can attach flags and bunting to add some style to your boat. I have a design already that you might like. If you find any others on your travels, bring them back to me and I can rig them up for you. Okay. Of course, I can also add a splash of color to your hull I'm sorry to say that my selection of pigments limited at the moment, though. Could I help you find more pigments? <laughs> he thinks for a short while. The other day, down by the shoreline, I saw a strange crab with the most strikingly vibrant coloration. <sighs> my knees aren't suited to clambering over rocks and chasing crustaceans. You see, but if you caught such a creature, 
He clears scraps of cloth and paper from his workbench, revealing a large pastel pa pestle and mortar. With the right blinding agent, we can grind them together for a new mixture. I can paint my boat with crabs. He turns back to you. A cunning plan formed in his mind. Fisherman, bring me some of those strange crabs. We'll turn your vessel into a work of art. But ah, for now. What can I help you with today? Uh... What's a bunting? I can adjust bunting here. I'll use any leftover pigments I have to ensure a cohesive aesthetic. Mm. As you wish. What? What else can I help you with today? What does that mean? Does that change my boat at all? I have no idea what that's doing. Which area do you want to paint? The roof? What color? Rusty red. Oh, I can change it to green. Green sounds nice. Or blue to match the ocean. Let's go with blue. All right, now let me prepare my brush. Mm. Hey, our boat is blue on the top now. Mm, much better. That color looks good. This guy's like not, he's just doing this for free. What about the hole? Uh, what color? Green. Um, oh, the boat, the boat itself can be blue too. Let's do green. All right, now let me prepare my brushes. Mm. Okay. It's like green around like the very bottom. Change the flag. No flag, fish flag, anchor flag, hook flag. Uh, fish flag. Mm. Nice. What's the liver flag? You seem to have... You don't seem to have any new flags with you. Come back. Oh, okay. If we get flags, we need to bring them, to mm -hmm. bring them here. Okay. Have you tried searching to the north of the Marrows? Oh, no. We have not been there yet. Well, we kind of tried to go, but... <laughs> Oops. All right. This, mm -hmm. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> get out of here now. I chose the wrong one. We need to leave. Okay, look at it. Our boat is looking kind of spiffy. Uh, Screaming Father probably has a task for us. Hello, is everything okay? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes. You see, my only son was lost at sea some, t some years ago. He's still out there somewhere in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. Oh my gosh. I was wondering, I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. Aww. He wore a bronze belt buckle, spe specially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. All right. It's asking about strange occurrences. I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight he was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry over and over. Begging anyone who would listen, howling to the wind these days. I almost feel like I understand. Anything else I can help you with? Man, the townsfolk here so far, like, a lot of people have aversion to the sea. So I think we're still, we're pretty full. We could 
probably... We could probably hold one of these, yeah. If we rotate it. That's it. We gotta go selfish now. Yeah, if you dock like right here in the front, it kind of turns your pot around for you. <laughs> I was having so much trouble um, with the like turning around in the beginning. So let's put one of these fabrics. I can go here. And then one can go here. Oh, you know what? Can we, um... Can we take stuff from this? Oh, we can. actually I think finish that one with the net oh but I don't actually have enough room there hold on Actually, fix finish this one right now. And then we can purchase it for 125. Yes. Alright. We now have four net spaces. We didn't have nets before. Go selfish. Yeah, now let's go to the ship, right? this one this over here. Alright, that's it for that. Let's do some sleeps. Nets catch things as you move. Okay. 
Let's try it out. Oh, we can't actually fish in those like smaller parts now though. to be fishing in the more out in the open. I guess that's okay because we we're we're going beyond anyway. Why is that like that? Interesting. Okay. We better get going. Is this a spot we can fish? No. That boat or that like pole that we uninstalled was uh, <laughs> kind of necessary. It seems like. Maybe we should have that one instead of the other one. I don't know. Hey, here's the shipwreck back here. This is a dredgy spot. One silver trinket. Um, looks like we've got some wood over here. part. getting to be night. Okay, the spot's depleted. Whew. Let's go, uh, <laughs> gonna go, oops, no, no. Turn, 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 and go over here. <laughs> we really, uh, <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, I don't know if I have a, can we make a spot for this? All right, we absolutely don't have any more. Oh, this is getting very creepy. Okay. We need lights. <laughs> and we need to get... Oh, 
back. Is that another boat? Get back. It is pretty creepy out here at night. The color, I, I don't know what that, the coloring is, is happening on the water. Oh, shoot. Oh man, what in the heck is that? Oh my gosh. What is that? Oh, he's trying to eat me. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Duck, duck, duck. What in the heck? That was creepy as hell. See if this guy likes the necklace that we got. Uh, no, he doesn't care. That's cool. I got nothing else for you. I need some sleeps. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was so creepy. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> really losing control here. Okay. Jeez. should do because I haven't been using the storage as much I feel like maybe I should just like save up the trinkets um in the storage and then like bring them over here kind of all at once that would probably be a little bit more worth it So I think I can access my storage from anywhere. So I think I can. no fish. So we've got one of these. And oops. Oh, we let's actually do this one. Oh, my boat got damaged. <laughs> That's what I get for being out too late. Modifies two cargo spaces to also hold engines. That is good. this do this gives us more light I feel like that will be a really good thing uh, no no stay there I don't know what 
I'm supposed to do with the... Hmm. Your boat's looking a bit damaged, but I can repair that here if you'd like. Yes, please. Repair all for 60 bucks? Sure. Uh, let's see, what is this? This is a research part. Curious looking component. Could be used to develop new equipment, but would need some investigation at a dock first. Huh, okay. Do you know what this is? No, he doesn't. I don't have anything in there. Uh, interesting. Turn these? I can. I'm gonna buy a third one. <laughs> Seems like we, like, I couldn't really use this hole that much. Let's uninstall this one and put the other one in storage. And let's use this one instead. Uh, to cargo. Take this, since we don't know what to do with it. Oh, enter repair mode. what to do with that. Let's go over here and see if this other, somebody, the trink, maybe the person that dealt with trinkets would know what to do with it. Strange one. 
tasting tongues wither wildly around a set of yellowed crooked teeth. The top row are flattened like human molars. Ew! <laughs> oh, it's so gross. <laughs> it's so gross. All right, let's go over here. Found anything special lately? You had just. I guess I'm just gonna put it in storage until I figure out what to do with it. All right, now we're supposed to be exploring some shipwrecks. Let's take a look at the map. So we're gonna find a belt buckle, relics. Oh, we have an odor for squid and groper. So oops. some new stuff. Are, like small. I need to get some here. That's a mackerel. this. This is a cod. Can we see in our encyclopedia what a groper looks like? I don't think we've caught any of those yet. Okay. Let's just keep going. These look like little flounders. But we can't we can't catch those anyway. What's that? A slag of rock juts from the water bearing crude symbols of curved fish. At its base, a rough shape has been chiseled away. What? This is a curved fish. Is that what I do here?
Wait, does that look this? Does that look right? It kind of looks like it, right? Return to these items later. I don't know. Let's leave that fish there and see what happens. More mackerel. Let's look here on the coast. All that's left of this boat is an old husk. You pull a little closer. <gasps> Ooh. Treasure. Gonna be, we're going to be full after this. Perfect. Oh, we got we got an achievement for having a full cargo. <laughs> With my Tetra skills. All right, let's go back in here. Should we put more fish into this? I don't know. I or I don't know if we should put like the same kind of fish. It seems like we should put the same kind of fish. Oh, there's something here too. We're full though. We have to come back. into storage and I'm gonna sell you have you got any fish for that order yes I do uh, just leave whatever you have at the window oh wait just leave whatever you have here I'll keep an order on oh, okay yeah we need here. Oh, this need a black groper is what we need right there. Okay. All right, come back when you have everything. Um let's sell the rest here. Some, some fish prefer deeper water while others stick to shallows. If you're looking for something specific, it's important to know what depth you're looking, you're working with. Uh, that's probably true. I just remembered like when we're picking up trinkets, the relic that we took to the the strange guy like on the the island in the house those relics were pink i think in the they were like pink or purple in the menu okay what do we got here next um put some wood over here And wood here. And it looks like we actually have, oh no, oh, that was weird. It looked like we had another spot for a fishing pole for a moment there. I wish that was true.
Okay. Oh, let's change poles to so see if we can find the gropers. So let's put trinkets in here because we don't need to like carry these around. Um, we'll, we'll take those over when we have a bunch of them. Install this one, and then we'll take this one out. So this one's for shallow, and this is for coastal. So if we want. Oh man, maybe we want to buy this pole and like put the net because this one lets us, this is shallow. So we have one for coastal, one for shallow. What is the difference here? A lightweight rod suited to catching fish that live in the shallows. A small pole makes for a limited reeling speed. Okay. Strength and lines can catch larger and deeper fish. Oh, we don't have enough money though. Okay. Let's go fish some more with what we have. Then, oh, I should put, wait, we already, Never mind. We already installed that one. So yeah, so we can't fish in like the coastal areas anymore. But dare we go out here though? We're gonna get hurt I think if we hang out out here too much. <laughs> Maybe we'll just sell trinkets. I don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid of getting the, the monsters. <laughs> I don't want that to happen again. <laughs> I'm happy these people don't oversleep. Alright, so all the trinkets. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep because we really don't have anything else to do. Take a sip of tea. to that little spot over here where there was there's like wood in the water there's some right here too Oh, 
I think we needed one of these. We had an order, I think, that needed one of these. I would really, really love it if the ship could hold more. Uh, the hull is like so small. <laughs> we can't really carry a whole lot. <sighs> Lousy weather lately almost makes you not want to get out of bed. But you and I, we've got to do it. Eh? But what keeps people from going hungry? I guess this was not a part of the... Alright, whatever. Hey. Nice. Uh... Modifies one cargo space to also hold light. Okay, so yeah, we'll get another light. That'll I, I'm gonna do that. That'll be good. And then we can go up to the shipwright, and we can buy another light. So those for a hundred and those for 180. Oh, we need a lot more money to get one of these. Gotcha. Okay. I guess we need to get all of these things before we start working on some other stuff. So can we... This woman needed some lumber. I need to deliver the falling... Oh, do we have to have... So two lumber and two scrap. Huh. Alright, I guess I'll put the lumber in here. So she said two lumber and two scrap. Alright. I'm kind of organize this, I guess. There. Alright, let's go out again. It's four. We're getting a late start to the day. We can push here. gonna go back in and sleep. <sighs> All right, that's about an hour for this one. So we're gonna call this, uh, we're gonna call this today. So we did go find the shipwreck. Um, we didn't get what we really wanted from it but um i don't know maybe we should go a little bit further and go out there again let's see what else we can get i mean i think maybe uh worst case we'll find uh Oh, 
All right, <laughs> maybe we'll find some interesting things. I don't know. Here, I'm gonna save some space in the boat. Well, I just kind of want to go all the way around the island. There's some other stuff over here. back here. There's something sparkling here. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faintly, faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Place your hand on the stone. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. Okay. What? <laughs> I don't know. Where was the other? Let's look at the map. Oh, we could go out there. All right, let's do it. We've not been over here at all. Going to a new place. We can't even fish out here. The water's so deep. Man. What is this over here? Something magical in the water here. Oh, we can dredge here. Okay, this is red. That's a trinket. Or not a trinket. That's a a red flag bearing a traditional depiction of an arching sea serpent. Oh, it's a flag. We can have that guy put it on, on, on our boat, I think. Oh, no. I thought this was like buildings here. This is not... You pull up alongside a, a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Call out. Almost immediately, a small slot on the door opens and a pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? A fisherman? What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? Now, I am very much not okay. I supposed to be delivering this package to Little Marrow, but I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. We have also seen... I wouldn't say that that was a leviathan, but it was a definitely a big fish that caused damage to our boat. Um, I've seen it. It hung in the water. It's gaping mouth just below the boat. Oh my gosh. It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. I'm going... I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. I could deliver the package to Little Marrow for you. Mm. You would? Well, that would work, I guess. Well, yeah, of course, dude. I gotcha. The courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the, <laughs> through the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it in your hands. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. Ew. <laughs> Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock, dock worker at Little Marrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen, I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods, 
don't have the equipment for it, so just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Mm. Here, why don't you take this too? Again, an item emerges from the door hole. This time, a book is pushed through the thuds of the deck below, and you pick it up. I'll be on my way, whatever the coast is clear. Safe travels. All right, thanks. Uh... What to do? Do we stay by this little boat until like morning, maybe? Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. What do I do? It's so late. I'm afraid to cross the water. It got very, very dark all of a sudden. I didn't realize. How late it was. It was like three o'clock when we were <laughs> when we started to come over here. Oh my gosh. Um holy crap. Well um geez. All right. I'm gonna cut part two right here. Yes, we're gonna leave it on a cliffhanger. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna we're gonna be hanging out here uh, through the night. And so you will have to tune in to part three to see if we made it through the night and delivered this package. Um, if you like the video, please, please, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I'd love to have you back um, to play more games with me. I play a lot of indie games. Some mainstream stuff too, but I like to play I like to play indie games a lot. They're my favorites. Um, and we will be playing more Dredge along with some other games. Um, so uh, if you um, if you want some other videos to watch, definitely check out part one of Dredge, and part three will be coming out soon. And also, um, YouTube thinks you will like the video showing up in the bottom corner, I think, or the top corner. And my most recent video, I think, is on the top corner. Um, so yeah, check those out if um, if George is not maybe your thing. But it probably is if you got it to the last of the video. But I will see you later. Bye-bye!